what's going on, everybody? Hi. It's uh, Wednesday morning. We're here in the dark. I don't know. I thought I would uh, keep it dark, but this might be a little too dark. This might be a little too dark. I think I'm going to have to, um, I think I'm going to have to light it up a little bit in here. Um, how about this? Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's big, big lights on my face. Let's we would turn it down. Just turn it down just a little bit. Turn it down just a little bit. And I can turn up the, this light a little bit. Huh? No. Why don't we just turn this light all the way down? I like it. I don't know. Maybe I need some cool colored lights to denote video games are going to be played here. Um, like uh, El, El Paso Elsewhere. I think we're going to play some of that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Street Fighter 6 patch just hit with a you know, new, new character. Right, look at that. I don't know. I, she doesn't... I don't find her especially appealing as like a character I want to play. She seems like a cool character, but I don't... It doesn't really seem like my sort of thing. Um, when it comes to, you know, the characters I tend to play in fighting games. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll give her... Maybe we'll give her a look. I don't know. New Call of Duty season just started. Does anyone else... Uh, does, does anyone else do the thing that Call of Duty does? I know that... Uh, Sometimes when they sell battle passes, they'll sell like, uh, oh, you can get this version of the battle pass and also it comes with 25 levels on the battle pass. But Call of Duty does a thing where they sell multiple versions of the battle pass where there's like the, you didn't pay anything. Then there's the battle pass. Then there's the black cell battle pass that like starts you at a different location on the battle pass and gets you gold skins and, and you get even more stuff because you've spent it's like a, it wasn't enough to have, here's our premium experience here in the battle pass. They had to be like, no, here's our premium experience in the black cell upgraded in How do they word it? Uh, there's a, yeah. Augment your battle pass to its full potential when you upgrade to Black Cell in Season 6. Augment your battle pass. Like Deus Ex. I mean, and, and also, honestly, the Black Cell skins kind of look like Deus Ex, so maybe that's a weird... That's a... Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Did someone... Is someone writing copy for Call of Duty... Are they like, no, no, this, this guy looks like Adam. This is like an Adam Jensen looking fucking skins that we got going on here. So augment your battle pass. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't mind it per se. I don't, I don't think, you know, it's not deceptive, right? They're just like, Hey, here, this is an option for you. And you're like, all right, I guess. I don't know. Um, I went out this morning, um, Took another load of stuff over to the storage locker. I had to get some air put in the car's tire. I had to, I had to go pump up the car's tires a little bit because they were, they were running a little low. But uh, uh, I stopped off at the gas station to do that and wandered in and found a new a flavor of Bang that I don't think I've seen before. These are the This is the new Bang. They redesigned the cans. Uh, I don't know if the drink is any different. I don't think it is, but they. I, I think when they lost their distribution deal with Pepsi. They, they redid some stuff and, and I don't think I've had one of the new design cans. This is radical skedaddle, which I, I don't think is like a good play on words. Radical skedaddle. It doesn't roll off the tongue, especially well. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't denote a flavor per se. Um, radical skedaddle. It's, it does, it's not like a ska joke though. I, when I did see it, I was like, oh, they got a ska drink. Um, but no, I don't, I mean, I don't think so. I did pick it up. So I guess there's that. I don't know. Um, and so I don't really know what to make of this. Yeah. Sounds fruity. Yeah. Is there, is there like a Skittles, is, you know, like what's the word closest to this that denotes a flavor? It's probably Skittles, but like Radical Skedaddle just says, also not how I would spell Skedaddle. Maybe this is right, but S-K-A-D-A-T-T-L-E. I would think there would be an I, Skedaddle, not Skadaddle. Skadaddle here with you. Uh, 
telling you to today. Um, hmm. Let's find out. It smells like a uh, random fruit. Random candied fruit. Actually, mildly Skittles-like. I wonder if that's what they were going for with the name. It smells like Flintstones vitamins. Powdery like a Flintstones vitamin. I'm trying to get my daughter to take vitamins, but every single one we take has just a little bit of grit or something in it. And she is not going for it. Yeah, this uh this this is definitely there's a children's vitamins vibe off of this. Or Smarties. Yeah, Smarties actually. Uh, American Smarties, not Canadian Smarties, you weirdos. Uh tried gum. Yeah, we try uh she's not she's not she's not uh gummy food is not her. She can't uh, she won't. She won't do it. She'll be fine without the vitamin pills. It's in regular food too. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Well, I'll just uh, get her to start eating regular food on a regular basis and get her to... Um, you see, if she was better at eating, we wouldn't be doing the vitamins in the first place. Hence... Um, Let's try it. What is this? What did I just drink? What did, what did I, what did I just, what? Kind of like Smarties, kind of like a Smarties candy fruit thing. Um, kind, kind, yeah, kind of. There's a is am I yeah am I tasting the radical or am I tasting the skedaddle? I uh, one can never be too sure here. <laughs> Here's a, I, I did a, a text-to-speech transcript of an episode of the podcast a while ago. Apparently that's what, apparently that's this. I don't know why that's automatically open, but. Uh, but okay. Oh, wait, why, where did that go? Why is that? I don't, uh, Notepad, they made some updates to Notepad that I, uh, that I don't like. And I get that it's like a, it's a it's not a bad idea because they made it so that it remembers what documents you had open and reopens them when you open Notepad. But that's just not how I use Notepad. I use it. I want it blank every time because I'm you know pasting stuff in from other places. It just doesn't fit with the way I use Notepad. So if uh, if the Microsoft Windows team is watching this stream, and I know you are, you're on. It's the it's not the worst idea. But boy, oh boy. Um, I assume it's something I can disable, actually. But uh, I haven't really looked. When Notepad starts, open a new window. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Um, here's our list. I don't know. Uh, have I tried Notepad++? Yes, see, that's uh, I use Notepad++ for anything... That requires actual formatting or or anything like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Radical skedaddles. Not it's uh. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like Smarties. A little uh. It's not. I don't. <clears throat> this is not a good drink. I don't want to drink this again. That much I can say with certainty. That I don't want to drink another radical skedaddle. 
it's not necessarily bad. It's no, it's it's just fucking gross. I don't know. I think with these mixed candy fruit flavors, like you have to. If you don't stand for something, you'll you'll fall for anything. And when they just fill it full of generic fruit, whatever, um, it it doesn't it doesn't have anything going for it. It has nothing to stand on. It's just here's this. Um. Yeah, Microsoft Paint has layers now, huh? Yeah, it's uh, I I <laughs> I had a. The snipping tool in Windows 11 has been updated as well to be able to read text out of images. Which, hey, you know, OCR technology has, has existed for a long time. But the way they phrase it is to say, we've got new AI-powered technology that can read the text in your images. If you just click this button, it'll extract the text. Like, motherfucker. This is not AI. This is not new. It's new in the snipping tool, but OCR, optical character recognition, has been a thing for like what 20 years? 15 years? You know, like it's this isn't Come on, son. AI, it's AI powered. It's powered by artificial intelligence. I just the 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 the, the, the definition of artificial intelligence has been stretched in such a meaningless way. Not since the word metaverse have as a word have have words been fucking reduced to absolute bullshit as quickly I mean metaverse to be fair started out pretty stupid machine learning this machine ain't learning shit you taught it how to do it when I downloaded the patch that did it oh see it's fucking oh see stupid it's stupid it didn't need to be this way and how many people are like are, are people um flocking to windows 11 because they're like i've heard it's got artificial intelligence no no it's not you you use windows because it's fucking windows and you need windows some people don't need windows and they are open to using other things but Windows is good. I, I like I like Windows. I'm the motherfucker sitting here saying, you know what? Windows 11, it's good. I prefer it over Windows 10 now. I've been using Windows 11 long enough that when I remote into my Windows 10 machine, uh, I go, ugh, ugh. Windows 11, it's totally fine. The updates are fine. It is. It has been absolutely good. You know, like for games, it is. Uh, it has been a totally solid fucking OS. And I think that some of the updates they're making to it, and some of the you know power toys, and some of the other things that Microsoft has been rolling out along the way, uh, the, the WinGet package manager fucking rips. Um. Th- they are uh they are offering a a very solid and fucking gr- it's a great OS. You know? It's whatever. I got an older machine that's uh you know my my kind of server machine that I rem- remote into it is not eligible to run Windows 11. I thought about just backdooring Win 11 onto it for kicks cuz I'm sure it would run fucking fine. But whatever, who cares? Um, am I still using my MacBook since going remote? No, I had to use it. Um, or rather, I uh, there was uh, some writing. When I was writing that Starfield thing recently, I knew I was going to have to be... I, this keyboard is too loud, and I'm near sleeping children. So I was like, well, maybe I'll get this, I'll get this laptop out. I got it out. It, fucking, it had completely gotten into a, a barely working state where the Wi-Fi uh, was... Like, I couldn't download OS updates or app updates on it. It would just, uh, the downloads would just die. And so I got to a point where I'm like, well, uh, maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to go do online recovery. On- on- online recovery would fail. Recovering the OS would fail. All this other stuff. Because it would, ju- it would eventually try to download something. And then it would just go like, nah. Nah, fuck it. Like, okay. So I decided to just blast away the disk partition completely. 
and uh, thinking like, well, if there's just nothing on it, then surely it will download the OS. It's just some software problem that's causing this Wi-Fi issue. No. No. So I blew away the partition and it still would not <laughs> download the anything. Um, and so I had to go grab a, a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. And as soon as I plugged it in and made it wired, uh, it uh, I was able to update the OS and, and get a fresh install on it. And now it's fine. So that's my story about my recent MacBook Air, uh, you know, journey, I guess. It's fine. Yeah. When I, when I think when I, if I get to a point, you know, next year sometime or whenever, when I'm kind of back out on the road more often or, or whatever else that I would probably, I would consider buying a new MacBook Air, um, you know, with Apple's, with Apple Silicon, uh, you know, um, and, uh, and use that. I think that would be, that would probably be the direction I would go on a, on a laptop. I don't, yeah, I, I don't have any interest in a Windows laptop. I don't have any interest in a, in a gaming focused laptop. Um, I don't need that in my life. Um, so yeah, I would probably get like a, a nice MacBook air, potentially a, a MacBook pro or something, but yeah, I don't know. I'd probably do something like that. Um, looks like the quest three is getting announced today. The, the Facebook, the, the Oculus, the meta, the meta quest three, I guess. Looks like verge has a hands on that perhaps, uh, they broke embargo on, but, uh, I guess that'll get announced today because meta connect is how Facebook connect. That's what they used to call it back in the day. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if they've got a hands on video <laughs> up now. So, I guess Facebook gave people a look at it. I got invited to that to to go to connect and I was like not this year. Thank you. But if I was going more places, I would probably get a laptop because then I would have a use for a laptop again, but you know, working from home. Basically as soon as as soon as I started working from home, I barely touched that laptop at all. Let's get this drink on a list and stop dilly-dallying. This drink isn't good, but I'm almost finished with it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not like pouring it out or whatever. So, um, so there is that I would rather drink a spike or a, I would rather drink a G fuel PewDiePie. That's for sure. But I would take this over a Zoa fruit punch. So we're kind of looking at this territory right here. It's uh, not as good as sour watermelon or rehab watermelon. It's probably better than the Raise Energy Guava Mango. No, you know what? That Guava Mango at least had a distinctive real flavor to it. It's definitely better than Bang Delish Strawberry Kiss. We can all agree with that. Uh... Which at least, you know, for, for that having a dumb name, um... At least it says strawberry in it, so you get a sense of what you're getting into. Radical Skedaddle just doesn't do that. Uh, D-A-T-T-L-E. What a weird... Uh, I don't know. We're going to look up the word skedaddle after this and see how to spell it. Uh, that's our new number 100. Congratulations to Bang Radical Skedaddle, one of the top 100 energy drinks of all time. In the low and zero calorie uh, segment, of course. Um, I also bought a, uh, a ghost orange cream while I was at the store. Just a nice treat for me for another day. Perhaps tomorrow I'll have that. Uh, all right. We're going to go type skedaddle into the internet. Maybe they just wanted something that they could trademark, and that's why they spelled it that way. Because when I type in skedaddle, it, uh, th this is the only thing that comes up. Um, I guess this flavor has been around for a long time. I'm seeing references to it from 2020. So I guess there was an old can version of it, but I, I don't know that I've ever seen one. Hmm. 
Yes, is 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 the sequel to Counter Strike coming out today? That has been the rumor. I don't know anything uh, about that. I would, uh, if that does come out, I would consider trying to play it. I do have Counter Strike One installed. You know, Counter Strike Global Offensive, the first Counter Strike. Um. Okay, so that's not how you spell skedaddle, then. Uh, skid it's S K I D A D D L E. Or S-K-E, according to Mer Merriam-Webster. S-K-E-D-A-D-D-L-E -D -D -E is how you spell skedaddle. Weird. Um, weird. I don't know. Let's play some El Paso Elsewhere. I have not played. I, I played the tutorial and haven't really touched much more of the, the shipping final version of the game here. Okay, so uh, this is a, let's call it a Max Payne-esque video game, but with vampires. good fuck fuck pretty good voice work the pharmaceutical cocktail i put together vibrates at the back of my skull shifts my system into overdrive i could take anything but a tank shot to the chest right now but that comes with a cost my body's going to give it out at some point and it's going to hurt on my trip i picture the pills in the back with the pills and taking the pills in the back with it feels inevitable a Nickelodeon on a loop, courtesy of an addict's chemistry. I'm the addict, by the way. Hi. Max is Dracula, Lord of the Vampires. Fifteen miles from here, in a tiny motel in El Paso, Texas, she's conducting a ritual that will end the world as we know it. It's what she always wanted, even when she said she didn't. If I don't save the people she's taken, or kill the things she's conjuring from the void as we speak, the world dies today. I threw away six months and eleven days of being sober for a chance to save the world. Ninety-eight percent of me is screaming in pain, or exultation, glad for an excuse to fall. And the last tiny fraction, that's you. I need you to believe that I'm not going to open that trunk. Then I'm going to get back into this car, on the count of three, and stop my ex before she destroys us all. I need to know that you believe, so I can too. Ready? One. Two. Three. Well. My name is James Savage. Here's to believing. James Savage is a pretty good name. <clears throat> Clerk being gone isn't a good sign. Gotta get to the elevator. <laughs> Anything above ground has been affected yet, I might actually have a shot. <clears throat> so yeah, this is, uh, you know, like I said, it's Max Payne-like in terms of uh, you shoot dodge. It also has a roll, and uh, I don't think any of these will give us any, but if there you... Okay, no, no, it did not. Uh, I guess in some parts of the game, you'll be able to break up wooden objects to get stakes used to, uh, you know, kill vampires. Shame the guy who was supposed to answer it is probably dead. <clears throat> and you can do this... Uh, 
this wall kick here. Which I don't remember if that's a... I don't remember if Max Payne could do the... Like, if you, if you jump into a wall and hit shift. It's a good slow slide. None of these toilets can be used. What? This game is a dismal failure. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> nope, never mind. This game's incredible. that opens but also but what's over here oh hi hey you here against your will oh i'm very clearly in the wrong place that uh that, that voice was very quiet like some mixing stuff there Imagine some dude busted into your hotel room and just started doing this. How much of a turn on that would be. I see. Okay. Save Dracula's victims before they're sacrificed. Save innocence. Uh-oh. Oh, that, those guns need bullets in them. This will be useful. Pills. Okay, so the white lights are the hostages that we need to rescue here. Oh. 
Not a lot of ammo. It's like friggin' survival horror max pain. Oh, jeez. So what am I supposed to do against these guys if I don't have bullets? I keep going? I oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> uh, except for the part where it crashed. Oh. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Let's rerun that. And see where it puts us. Yeah, not a lot not a lot of ammo, right? So Oh. Oh shit. This is bad. Maybe I need to be smarter about busting up uh wood. Was there some wood along the way that I wasn't cuz uh, if you cuz I was hitting the the Q key will uh Okay, ceiling's good. No, no more stakes there. The there we go, stakes. <laughs> Great. Yes, yes. Have I tried it on Steam Deck? I have not. I heard it ran okay, but I have not. Uh... I can't carry more. But I have not. Uh, I have not done that yet. Okay, let's just wait for this guy to run around from here. We'll stake him. Oh, jeez. Because we're full on stakes, so now we can go back and get this stake. You take damage on that, though, you know, because it's, you know, you're... I guess maybe if I stake early enough, maybe that won't be a problem. I got two with one stake there. <laughs> Surely I can. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Got ammo. The floor is changing around me. Okay. Oh, these guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this the old fashioned way. Doesn't look like I can stake on the ground. Which I guess makes sense. Okay, so we'll probably have to go over that way to get that guy, but we'll also have to go this way to get that guy. Let's take some pills. <laughs> Looks like two shots if I'm good. Three shots if I'm not. Oh, 
Okay. Don't stop me. This time I didn't run out of bullets, so. Finally. Good. Pills on the toilet. Set the bullets go through fast. Got those night shifts, so we sleep in too blessed. Grab the key, cause I'm about to shut some mouths. True death. A word? In the back pocket, creeping like they want to see. Blend into the figured crimes. Rap thug one. Suck that, vampires. Up by a box of Suck that, vampires. <laughs> Indeed. Use armor. Move to cloud and hit center mass. Check the hand, cause I want to be spitting brass. Stuff close, mocking me in line. Rose fire. <laughs> Audio mixing is is not always I don't know. I mean like it makes it seem chaotic, but like the voices of the uh, game seem to get lost, uh, seem to be getting lost in the soundtrack sometimes. And I'm sure I could, if it's got settings for that, perhaps. Ghosts, not a sound be on the screaming. Getting quiet because they know I'm the final boss. I'm a legend. Lockbox, targets then and then I grin with every slay. Like the dog, I'ma get my fucking day. I'm immortal because I rock with the lock. Look at this. That's interesting. You kind of, if I. Jump high enough here, we can we can see the kind of entire layout of the floor. That's kind of neat. That's neat. Like it, it it's this like compartmentalized take on Max Payne is what it feels like so far. <coughs> pills. We need pills. More pills. Yes. I can't carry more. What fucked up that vase? Yeah, take that. Vase. Now what? No one likes a weird vase. This is a weird... Okay, good. We're... <laughs> this is breaking shit. Turns out. Check here. here. Okay, let's move on. It's just pretty sure time and space aren't supposed to be doing that. Couldn't hold more if I tried. Realize need a new stake belt or something. Get the, light. Get the fuck back to the elevator. Back to the elevator. Okay. 
Oh, so it's like an in and out kind of thing. I feel like I should be using these stakes more since you can only hold five. Oh, I like that the... I like it as exit signs. That's handy. All right, well, now we're out of stakes. Now we've gone and done it. I'm not dying, am I? It's not what this underwater audio effect is signifying that there's a timer on this or something, right? Now that I'm seeing it's like muffling the audio of the voice in this part to the mixing of the soundtrack feels like less egregious and more like, I don't know, tonal. Clear the first landmark level is the achievement I just got there. You know, I'm this this you know control is a good game, and the way control introduced its areas is, is uh, great. And it's great. <laughs> I'm gonna have to dive through this, leap like a fucking circus animal. I mean, a game that, you know, can evoke both control and max pain is, uh... Oh, right. What the fuck am I doing? Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to dive through this. Leap like a fucking circus animal. I don't want to die here. Well, suck there was no one here. Vampires. Yeah, suck that, vampires. You could have just left. The elevator is right there. Oh, this is going to be a fucked up day. Uh. Ah. This will be useful. No stakes there, huh? Mm. Some wood busting music right here. Can I? Oh. Doors locked on the side. push animation on this is real silly. Just destroying stacks of chairs. All 
right? Oh, reload the gun, man. Oh, that was... Yeah, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Okay. there. Oh, that was a very big jump. Look at that. <laughs> very satisfying. Not a lot of stakes in this level, huh? I feel like I'm busting up a lot of wood. Here. Fuck that piano. I gotta. I am bad at monitoring my health. Slow motion pills. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to get in there. I just dove too hard. I went too hard. You understand. You're a hey, a steak. All right. Oh, hi. Gotta go. That's fun. But these guys are too dumb. I'd rather can't shoot dodge through a window like I can. Ah, uh, pills. Is that everybody? I don't see. Oh, okay. No, there's way more over here. Right through windows. Where you come from? The ultimate villain in this game is break proof windows. What happens if I. Uh, I like the dialogue enough that I feel like th this game would benefit from a little more monologue when you try to do dumb shit, like try to dive through breakproof windows, for example, or, uh, you know, just randomly dive into toilets and stuff. Like this. Or rather, like this. Like that. Oh, yeah.
you know, I couldn't stand to see my own visage in the mirror, so I took act, you know. Found ammo. That window, break the shit out of it. I think I am gonna um, just make a minor adjustment to the music volume. Because I feel like it's drowning out the other effects a little too much. Uh, jumping melee and break these doors that's these are the real questions <laughs> oh, okay there's a lot of these fuckers okay now oh. wait for me to get close so you can stick two at a time okay yeah we're fucking this up now we're okay I might want to turn on auto reload. I saw that, that was an option there. to break this stuff. I'll see you later. <clears throat> Can't sleep in an owned bed. Hold a pills full. Put throw the guns away. No true addict is gonna say, I've got enough pills. Those pills, I don't need those. I have enough of my own. It's not a it's not a thing. Everyone likes busting down doors. I don't care if you're some kind of weird hell spawn demon. Some trench coat wearing junkie. Everyone loves to do it. Oh, but these doors mock me. What can I? Yes.
Well, this says exit, so we'll go this way. Oh, you're not going to get in here. Remember at the beginning of the level, you had to dive through it? Can I get three with one stake? Sure can. Cool. I have seen the impossible before. My specialty was folklore. I was a researcher. That's how me and Doug Clay met. I've tackled golems and will of the wisps. A leprechaun took a chunk out of my leg once. This is as cool as it looks. Yeah, it, it's very cool. I like its I like its level-based nature. Wrappings. Like a mummy. Like the flow of it, getting into a level, getting out. Pharaohs would have their servants killed to join them in death. It was a circle. With the right incantations, the pharaoh or noble was supposed to become undead royalty. And their servants, the personification of hunger. Drinking, but never satisfied. They'd gather and vomit gallons of blood a day so that their masters could bathe in the spoils. Two types of vampires originating in the cradle of civilization. The feeding and the fed. That pattern was supposed to have died out a thousand years ago. Vampires changed, became more sophisticated. Like her. I don't know how to describe a smell a thousand years old being fresh. But Dakoi, what she's doing, it's torn a hole through the inner tube of reality. I'm here just in time to watch the air drain out. Okay. So it, it considers each one of these levels a chapter. I'm pretty sure that the Steam page for this implies that there are 50 chapters, which kind of makes it seem like there's a whole lot of game here. But I'm not sure about that. I need to double check. Sure, more's the merrier. I really like the soundtrack. Uh, pills full and health full. Truly a tragedy. Steaks full? Killing it. The fact that these creatures are ravenous and acting on hunger probably means that Lay isn't controlling them directly.
So is this just gonna open and no, okay, so Yeah, it looks like it kinda is gonna crane around and Okay, no, there's still windows. Okay. She's the ringmaster that will you 20 bucks that this circus is running itself. I wonder if she knows. Pretty good shotgun. Shotgun reverberates in my chest, shakes me. I don't feel safe. I feel dangerous. It's a really good setup walk through all these enemies and go like, man, there's a lot of guys there. I wonder what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, you're going to give me a shotgun. Okay. Handled. Hi. Okay, so we got one and two over there, and that's all of them. Okay. We'll keep going this way. We'll keep going. Ah, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Oh, I missed with a second shot. Could have been so glorious. <laughs> I'm just here to fix the toilet, lady. You know, maybe with a little more... I mean, these guys are like balls of whatever, you know? They're... They they don't look sturdy. I feel like when I'm hitting them hard with this shotgun, they should, you know, come apart. It's very satisfying. Like they bust through and you're like, nah, check this out. Brat. Yay. On a mod that just replaces all the hostage dialogue on rescue with Gabby J. Yay. Oh, there's one all the way over there. Okay. All right, let's go over there. I guess I'd also say it doesn't always feel like damage registered on the player is the range of their attack or something. Like, I see that my health has gone down, but I go like, ah, that's... that's it all it didn't all it didn't immediately seem like they hit me, but I guess I guess they did. 
Oh. Like there. That I guess yeah, that I guess that's a hit, but it's kinda Like the hits don't always feel uh as devastating or as uh, dangerous as they should. Well, this door didn't open from this side, so what do I... When in doubt... take so long in the level that the the music decided okay okay well we're not going that way so we're ah. that was not nearly as tricky as it imme initially seemed is a funny way of putting it. Like you could, I mean, you might make it. You know, just because you can. Alright, we only got four shots left with this shotgun here. with the glowing key too. lights. No hostages. And no prisoners! That's right. Fuck these chairs. It's a very foggy room.
that guy walk across the hall? No. He's still in. Oh, so many chairs. I mean, I'm so full on stakes, but honestly. <laughs> Just gonna stay laying down and wallow in my chair pile. No one look at me when I'm in my chair pile. Oh, that was a just a terrible shot. <laughs> Cute. Nice ammo. You know, if there's enemies are going to appear as soon as I get this thing, I want to be able to have some mobility. This is just, this is tactical chair breaking. This isn't, this isn't for fun. The See? The Except I made it so it was easier for them to get to me trailer. by breaking all the chairs. Like, I guess they're... I like this soundtrack quite a bit. Open sesame. Since it's still in my hands, seems like I can open as many green doors as I have to. Uh, did I hit the button while I was talking and, and now we don't get to hear radio cop? Oh God, get up. Did I get trapped in a... <laughs> no, seriously, get up. I'm not holding shift. What? Oh no. <laughs> We've all been here, friends. All right, well, I want to hear the radio anyway, so we're going to reset to checkpoint. Oh, all right, that works. That was very fast. The Tony Hawk of Max Payne's. This pressure slides into my pocket, barely registers. Find the pumps of adrenaline. It feels vaguely like a hand. It's not. See, I was right to clear out the chairs. This encounter was, uh easier when I had mobility. I should remember to use stakes more often, too. Especially when they get close like that, you know? Oh. Hmm? Yeah? No? You okay. Open sesame. Since it's still in my hands, seems like I can open as many green doors as I have to. My life is a series of elevators. Problem is, they're always going down. What floor would you like to go to, sir? Penthouse. Speaking of, you have a way to leave this elevator when we get up there? Well, no, sir. I have to stay at my post. All right, then. Here's a tip. Wowzers! Fifty whole dollars? Don't get too excited, kid. After what happens next, there's a good chance you won't be able to spend it. Means you're gonna die, kid. Oh, no! You sealed the deal. And once you seal it once, you can't rip up the packaging. Not without violating the return policy. It's one of those stupid little things you gotta use the scissors and it doesn't quite seal back up again and 
can, it's tape. Yeah. And... That's good. I'm gonna run to the restroom, and then I'll be back, and then we'll take more pills. Something very alarming happened to me while I was peeing. I looked over at the sink, and there was a spider crawling out of the drain. Like a big, like a, 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 a an, e an evil looking spider. A pointy, a pointy looking spider. And at first I was like, what is, that's not happening. I was like, no, that's, that's very much, that's very much happening. So I finished peeing, hoping it would not make its way out of the sink. And I, uh, well, yeah, I, I dove head first into the sink, breaking it. And, uh, no, I had turned on the water and I drowned. I, I put that spider back down the damn drain. And it's got its, uh, body halfway stuck in the spout there. So I closed the trap and I think that probably cut it in half and then opened it back up and... Anyway, this is El Paso Elsewhere. See, this is the kind of junky maneuver I want to see, is you see pills, you die for them. You're like, pills, 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 pills. Have some more pills, pill head. Gotta find the key. I have, I want to have a key. Oh, no. Get you. Colored keys. Is this a third? Yeah, okay. If 
you asked me, is this door green like the other ones? I would probably say, yeah, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. keep worrying that enemies are going to pop out of those closets, too, when I walk into a room, you know? I feel like I should have had a speech prepared. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't think it's happened yet. I don't think anything has come out of those yet, but I don't. Oh, shit. All right. Let's play this game for real. why we keep the pills. <laughs> Celebrating the finding of pills by taking pills. Still no hostages here, huh? All right, we're back here. Okay, so we did a loop around there. Your hostages to save. Just have to make my way through it. Yeah, exactly. No hostages to save. Just gotta make your way through it. Can't reload down here. Couldn't hold more if I tried. <laughs> That's satisfying. It's as it should be. You dive backwards in cool slow motion and then blow sh and fuck people up. I, I need to be doing this though. We need to be we need to be finding places to be doing that. Well, now we've gone and drained the meter. Oh well. Okay. Your turn. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Why did you stay after I told you? <laughs> you feel inevitable. Of course we'd meet, of course we would fall in love, of course you'd be a vampire and tell me. And of course I would stay. Who am I to tell the universe that's wrong? Huh. Wait, did, did I say something wrong? No, it's just. It's an interesting turn of phrase. I'm going to think over that. I feel like I messed up. You didn't. Ask me. Okay. Truth or dare? Dare. Come on. I can pick it if I want. All right, I dare you to tell me the truth about... No, it's a no, no, no. It's a it, legitimate Come loophole. on, it's you know that that's cheating. You know... Okay, fine. Go ahead with your little truth dare. Why did you come back? To Transylvania and the castle. This isn't where you grew up. You had lost everything. What does this place have for you? 
well, it's mine. It may be the only thing I have left. Sorry. If I'm going to get to the bottom, which is presumably where this is all coming from, I need to remember some things. Once upon a time, Dracula's name was Janet Drake. Okay. Good to know. I already took my bathroom. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so we can't be here yet, obviously. This is a weird bathroom. What? It... <laughs> Just realize, like, why are there so many toilets in this room? This is a strange. <laughs> this is a weird hotel. Motel. We got three all out in the open, two for privacy. Pills. Pills. I don't know what's getting worshipped in here, but I appreciate the offering he's left behind. this way and kill it then right no oh ah mm, mm. Fucking, stalls. fucking stalls indeed it's like all this pistol ammo is a sign i should be using it for a bit Save you. It's like, man, asking the hard questions here. Okay, this was that room, right? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not here. Yeah, this was that room. Oh, shit. Ah, there are a lot of them. And we dive through it. We sure can't. Oh, wow. Look at that. Slide through all this. Man, that's fucking neat. Ah, fuck. Fuck off. All right, fine. Not. I was wrong about all the pistol ammo. So I think one well placed pistol shot will take me out. Yeah. I was right about the pistol. Man, we barely made it out of that one. More pills. Okay, that's where they all came out of, or where, the, where that's where all this shit started. Uh, is this a, no. This is where that key was, and then we 
had to go around, but now we can go back that way. There's a roof here, so I can't see where the lights are. What is this? Okay, that's the back. That's the route back. We, we're not going back because there's more guys to save. So uh, there's no door over here, right? Okay, is this? Got ammo. Pray. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a bathroom. Ah, you fuck face. More toilets. It would probably really hurt to just jump on top of a piano. Two there, one there, one there, okay. Nice barricade. Not nice enough. But it wasn't gonna keep out much. Yeah, alright, see? I wanna live! You and me, we're on the same page. Stop asking that. Oh wait, radio. Uh. Well, maybe that wasn't a radio that could be activated anyway. Okay, what are we dealing with? All right. Yes. Oh, yeah, see, that's... I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to cause trouble. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh boy. That could have gone smoother. It was cool though, I got behind him. already broken. This game is twisted. Look, I understand that you've got needs, but I'm curious about what's in these stalls. Have you seen any kind of bag or backpack or like something I can use to carry more pills? Satchel. All right. I don't like that. We don't like that. 
can't die. Not here. I'll go. I'll go. Now I'm really... Now I'm really messed up about this door and this toilet. Ah. Finally a toilet for me. Finally, a usable toilet. Though after taking all these pills, I don't know if I have anything to give. I'm just going to keep mashing this use button. This is a th uh, this is a thrilling moment. This toilet appears to be moaning at me. Though with the audio, you know, with it with all the hostages being rescued, the audio is unbreakable toilet. Finally. just want to stay here. Forget the vampire. The toilet is my new girlfriend. This is how I do it, by the way. Uh, I don't know. I know we don't like to share a lot of bathroom talk, you know, but like when I go, this is how I, this is how it happens. A lot of twists. Can't be together forever. Should be like some kind of risk reward, like throw all your pills into the toilet for bonus something. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad in a level full of toilets that we found a special toilet. That's. You talk about vision in video games and uh, in game design. I'm not a game designer, but I like games that feel like they have a vision to them. And that toilet. The further away we are, the more majestic it looks. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, well, let's go over here. We've had our fun with the toilets and whatnot. This is not the way to go. I guess I could have... No, no, that, that dead end's there. Here we are. Not cool, man. Ah, you. More bullets. All 
right, back through here. Uh, it's a level full of insidious stall doors. Like, who knows what's behind these stall doors? I, that's why we had to look. I feel like if I was like a Dracula lady bringing about the end of, of days, uh, I would, I would probably need a level. I'd probably need a floor full of toilets. I'd probably, you know, I don't know how these rituals work, but I figure you probably, is there an item? Is there something more pills? I need to... All right. This feels real good. It's like loose in the right ways. I think I saw a werewolf in that fucking bathroom. <laughs> yep. Got an obsession. Pull the fire alarm. That's a bummer. Jumping stake on the sky chairs. Last level, toilets. This level, chairs. I need to use the stakes here. Okay, we came in that way, right? All right, yeah. There are unbroken chairs in this direction, so surely... Ah, I'm hitting the buttons, but you didn't. Okay. You okay, bud? All right. see the ceiling there's a okay we can't open that door he's on that let's just double check make sure there's no weird nothing weird here the hostages feel pretty critical path so i doubt there'd be like a hidden wall or something Gun's got no bullets in it. We're fucking this up real bad. Okay. You know what? Oh. 
an unbreakable chair. Okay, and there's a guy. Uh, there's a hostage. Uh, huh. Huh. We came in this direction. I thought the... Uh, yeah, there, is that... No? Well, you checkpoint me, so let's go. Like, the last room was full of normal chairs and just the one unbreakable one. And now we got a room with spooky chairs? to stop hitting shift when I mean to hit right mouse. came in. Let's see if there's anything. Again, I uh, I know I heard hostage voices. But they must... Be. Does that mean that they are under a roof? If I don't see their lights shining? These are just tiny rooms for werewolves to run out of. I see. Okay. These ones too? Yeah. 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 Full on ammo. Alright. Okay, we got that heart. We can go back to this door somewhere. Ah. There. There it is. There's one. Is there another? Huh. Just shot that guy. Look, I know it's been intense with these vampires and stuff, but these chairs. Only one guy. Okay, I should be like that for a minute. Hit 1,000 weak points. This 
chair's got weak points. Ah! Voids killing off hostages before I get a chance to save them. Or they're incompetent. Either way, it's one last chance to disrupt Dracula's ritual. The levels are neat enough and they're they're compact enough that I, I feel like compelled okay, we've been here before, right? We're heading back. I say I feel compelled to like look around, you know? Um Where we get the portal gun, or what? Uh... Really like the idea of, I mean, you know, work for revengeance, right? Save the parts with the vocals for when a fucking giant chair. Save the vocals for when there's a giant chair. I say, you know, it's fucking serious. Look at this. Fuck that chair. I don't care how big you are. Here's a real high class politician. Every photograph is perfect, not a single but at night. The Bible book is freaky. Post some line. With the wink, you can say that you'll oblige. Get the bathroom bathroom again. Play the perfect show on my show. You got it all on tape, so our boys compromise. And now you're in the creek and hide there. It's nice to have a piano, like dueling pianos in the bathroom, I find, you know? Especially, you know, if all three stall, well, two, if all two stalls are taken, someone else comes in, you know, hey, I'm just going to play the piano while I wait. You guys, uh, you know, do, do what you do in there. Well, see, this is just a weird. Comprehension's confused, genius is. 
Yeah, so there's a version of this that you can buy that's, uh, you know, come, like like a lot of games on Steam that comes with the soundtrack. Yeah, because another fucking Pretty. message, girl. If it didn't mean the world was ending. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. I appreciate that uh, each level seems to be finding its own new way to just be... You know, weird, unexpected. I mean, it seems like I don't want to fall in that. Please, don't hurt me. Ah. Yeah, okay. That's a bad shot. That's, well, that seemed like a better shot, but not good enough. I don't trust, I don't trust these glowing chairs. Oh, it's breaking in your space. I was doing weird shit before, but this... I agree. This is a neat fucking game. Being a flaunting power, I mean, what, you know. Upside down pills. Ridiculous. Emma. Uh, what? Okay, all right. I was like, is that a thing? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, fucking guy. Shit. Okay. That was apparently the puppeteer who we have killed for the first time and gotten an achievement for doing so. It's a big door. Better not be hiding any pianos up here. Oh, that, well, now the door's open. Okay. Almost just shot that guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that guy rescued? Oh, yeah, well, that was bound to happen sooner or later. Full up. Now, do we think that there was a way to save that guy? I'm going with no. Because I have to believe no in order to move on. She's owed. 
We can't travel through the bubble. It'd be even more suicidal than what we're already doing. So I'm stuck with the elevator, going where the void lets me. Floor by floor. It's only going to get worse from here. And why do I feel so fucking good? It's pills. It's the pills. Also, you know, murder is fun. Let's face it. And when you can murder weird zombie creatures and werewolves, no one's going to put you in jail for that. So it's like guilt-free murder, which is even better. More diving. If I wasn't going to die after all this, I might be worried about my knees. Oh, no way around it either. Okay, so looks like four there and then something. Oh, geez. Just... Well, okay. Insidious stuff is what is... It's a weird motel. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Jeez. As long as there's a table and a lamp for me to break. This is a really good soundtrack. All right. Well, we need a we need a thing for that, so. Yes, yes. the center let's just double check here oh well that's it's not very respectful what i've just done but you know i think it'll be okay holy shit the void's really smashing stuff together Can you kill it? I mean, I guess, you know, you can kill anything with a stake. You stake it hard enough. I didn't break everything in that bathroom to not get the ammo. Oh, 
Oh, that's a bad shot. That's another one. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool effect when you open the locked doors. A little audio, a little whoom. Yeah. Come on over. Ah, you. All right, was that the only key we need? We just gotta go back across, right? know. Where you going? Had to break that chair. You understand. Lots of hostages here. I'll go. Doesn't seem like the void to put all of its eggs in one basket. Whoa. Language, Buster. I'm free. I don't I uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. We're all gonna die. Agreed. Okay. Uh, the exit was in the center, right? Yeah. Was, was... That's right. Oh. It says exit there. Do I keep going this way? No. That's right. We go back the way we came. Oh, boy. Yeah. Stop paying attention. Now here we are. Burning through all our stakes. Okay. I think 
think I get it. I'm looking at the end of the world with a lightness in my chest because I can finally know. Do you know how hard it is? Living good? Dying good is a moment. You do something, you bleed your goodness onto the universal ledger. You're a good person. You know you're a good person. Anyone can die good. I'm doing it. Living good is forever. That's how it feels. Yes to the right things, no to the wrong things. Day after day, choices reinforced bit by painstaking bit. It's like chiseling your soul into a new shape. It's fucking slow. But here we are. And a hole in the fabric of everything that is. A hole I get to close. He seems very convinced that he's I'm going to, to close it. And wonder if I'm going to do the right thing again. But this is all going to go Jim his way. Savage, drug addict, gets to die good. What a mercy. Candles. Only you can prevent graveyard fires. All right, did that open both doors? Let's look. Same graveyard, but more cohesive. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, can't go that way, right? Okay, yeah, can't, cannot go there. Go here. What are we dealing with? There's that guy. There's one other one, right? Oh no, we got the uh, we got the other.
wall composed of pure void. You didn't enjoy taking that apart. Ah. Okay. That'll probably open. Eventually. These low openings have become much uh, scarier now with the werewolves. Like before, it was like, here's a look at the fun thing I can do. And, oh, well, fuck. You know, and try to just like dive my way through it and fail over and over again, which is, which is great. But, um, but in that bathroom scene. Couldn't hold more if I tried. See? 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 See what I'm talking about? Do you see? Cruise effects usually means an act of blasphemy or imitation. Either one means I'm in dangerous territory. I should be rolling more when I get cornered. Ah, ah. It's really good when you catch them just as they're jumping like that. It's real good. Always need ammo. Lining up that shot, thought I could get it off in time. I did not. It worked out okay. Get him out. The layout of uh, of these levels are oh, well. Okay, it's right here. The layout of these levels is. Uh, a little harder to keep your bearings in than the uh, the previous set. Can I roll backwards? I can. Oh, let's...
Okay. Now we can leave. Fantastic. I feel like I'm not, uh, you know, shoot dodging enough, but I, I also remember very much playing Max Payne this way too, of like, you can just shoot these fucking guys in the head and keep moving. You don't have to do all the slow motion cool shit. And you're like, but I want to do all the slow motion cool shit. I guess there are specific cases and situations where that would work out really well, but I'm, you know, most of the time these guys are far enough away or they're right up on you in a way that you're like, I need to. See there, I was even second guessing. I'm like, maybe I should try to do this little slow motion, uh, you know, little, little business here. Pills here. made it back. Does the spell work? Good. Holy flame in a revolution friendly bottle. Oh. Alright. Right. Sure. Molotovs that burn like a Castlevania sub-weapon. Cool. Okay, what are we actually dealing with here? We got one over there, one there, one there. This is the brightest path, so let's go this way. The more I see, the more this graveyard feels familiar. Blood and the guns, and I'm just a little teleport here. I get a look over here. I don't know why. Looking speed run strats. Okay, so we came in that way. Found some stuff. All right, we found a key. The idea 
that this place has a sense of humor does not fill me with comfort. What did I get there? I got a hostage. It doesn't look like it's anything else in that direction. So, okay. We got a... He did not get an additional key or anything like that, but... It looks like everything from here. So now we're back. We're at the center where the elevator is and such. And there's a guy that way. And is that... Okay. And a guy that way. There's our elevator. What is it? Oh. All right. Finally. That's not the color we have, right? Oh, it is. Okay. Really looking forward to getting to the end of this game and having, uh, you know, a billion Molotov cocktails that I've never thrown because I'm saving them because you never know. You know, you just sit on the toilet and rest. I mean, you just hang. I mean... good that the hostages are just like goofy video game like they just jump up and cheer <laughs> just say suck that vampires oh man okay so if this is our elevator then this is the general direction of that wait okay there's one there too right okay yeah all right let's try this Oh. Oh. Booty you too, motherfucker. I'm full up. Spooky. <laughs> How's the water stay in that toilet? How does the water stay in that toilet? What forces are at play here? Cemetery like toys. Suck that, vampires. Like so, it, sh it should almost have like a, a noise, like, you know, like a full on video game ass noise. No. No, it doesn't need that. Okay, in and out real fast. Indeed. Okay. Well, we're locked out of these areas, and so now we can only go this way or this way. Let's try this way. This light looks just more inviting to me. Hey, this is Bill. Uh, from the um, official service. Um... Uh, I just have an important, I have an important question for you. 
Is your refrigerator currently running? Because... <laughs> God damn it, Bill. This is no time for games. We catch it. Wow, a prank call went places. Not what was here a second ago. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Hmm. This seems like it's not the way. Yeah, this is back the way we came. Well, I mean, the whole game is going back the way you came. These both are just going to lead the same. Developing photos in here? There's, there's a variety in the like some of these levels like the path to the exit is very straightforward sometimes the path to the hostages is very straightforward but the path out is not like that's a like it really plays with expectations that way as well there's always a chance we hit the bottom and the monster doesn't want to fight fuck if I know what I'll do if that happens but the possibility is there that's, why I tell myself That's like the, the one times. player choice in this game, isn't it? Dracula isn't unreasonable. Like, I either kill her or don't, I assume. She knows what she's doing is wrong, so... That makes it better. She doesn't want to fight. She doesn't want to stop. I don't know what comes next. <clears throat> Get loose. I'm gonna do, like, one more level. And he called himself Frankenstein Resurrected. Oh, that is so messed up. I know. As much as I hate to say it, though, it also kind of works. Frankenstein was the doctor. I mean, yeah. We like our vicious murderers to be semantically correct, right? Absolutely. How long did he do this? 14 days. He did that to his wife for 14 days? One piece at a time. He'd saw through a leg or an arm, seal off the capillaries, and move the chunk of viscera to the other room, where he'd connect it to the other pieces he'd already taken. And that was from the feet up, right? Yep. God, that's brutal. 
She was basically an action figure. Take it apart, put it back together again. Yeah. Did he ever say why he did it? I'm gonna go over some reports about that in just a second. But in a nutshell, it's Frankenstein resurrected, right? Gotta take a body apart to put it back together. <laughs> I hate that so much. As a longtime podcaster, I hate bits about podcast stereotypes because they're always right. Always. Like that could have gone for another 20 seconds, but if it was going to, it was going to have to pivot into an ad. Like there's an ad that's running. Uh, yeah, it, I think it, it must run during wrestling because that's the only when would else would I see television ads? Um, of a guy who likes to listen to podcasts and he's <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. I I hate, I hate it's. I hate it. It's a self it's a self hatred. I hate it because I love podcasts conceptually as an extension of radio, the radio stations of yesteryear. But they're all right. They're all exactly correct. Parodies, they're all... Those gags, always correct. What the hell this is now? Lights up here. I don't. All right. Oh, the yep. shots can't really follow me. I can roll right them. Ah, roll. Yeah, roll. That's a good. Yes, roll. Oh, but I gotta hit the button to do that. Roll that. up. Hit the 
tab key a bunch of times. Go do some moon salts. Oh, that seems bad. Nope. Stop oh, you. That all of them? That all of them? That seems like all of them. Go back the way we came. Man, I'm good. Straight ahead. I'm sure it'll be a totally straight shot. No problems. Oh, ah. Good. Kind of place you meet the devil. Was that that enemy blowing up, or are there two of them? Is there another one somewhere else? I hear... Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, before I... Before I walk over to you, I'm gonna... Let's check. There's nothing... Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna stop something from spawning as soon as we do this, but... Ah, see? See? Got frickin' telefragged. I should turn on auto reload. Which I assume reloads the gun if it's empty. Okay, uh, now we just need to go. Uh, how do we... Okay, here. Here's how we go. Taking this out of here. Ah, no. All right. I'm not usually taken by surprise, but I don't know what you are. My mind has a tendency to grab onto things. Turn them over and over again until they make sense. Sometimes it isn't good for me. But that's old news. I think about the veil. I think about the dress. Simple, formal, torn. I think about the blood. I think about the ball of energy called from elsewhere. Now exhausted, she looks after it's been fired. 
before she does it again. The story starts to assemble itself in my mind about a damned bride whose suitor drags her to hell. And she can't stop loving him anyway. Is that your story? Do I see you? Or am I just projecting a little bit? I, this is great. What a cool game. Um, you know, it's got some modifiers. You want to, you want to make it easier or whatever. You can, you can do all that, which is nice. Um, probably go with auto reload. Might even turn. Yeah, I mean. Swap weapons automatically is maybe not the worst idea either, but uh, I'm not running out of ammo the same way I was in the first couple of levels. I'm just shooting more carefully, mostly, to be honest. Nothing. Uh... Anyway, that's El Paso elsewhere. Oh, man. Nice. Um, where's the button? Here's the button. You live in El Paso. You can confirm all this. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I, I believe it. Um, that feels really good. You know, I uh, I remember when they ported Max Payne to console when they put it out on Xbox and PS2. It never felt right to me as a console game. I think they did a fine job of translating the controls to, to console. It was like you would pull the left trigger to dive, I think is what it was. Um, I think is how they, they handled that. Um, but that it always just felt like a mouse and keyboard game to me, you know? Um, Max Payne 1 and 2. 3, I, you know, 3 was... I'm, I'm, I'm real whatever about Max Payne 3. Uh, so I ended up playing, I, I played a lot of that on Xbox and then start, tried to start over on PC thinking like, that's got to be the problem is Max Payne's a mouse and keyboard game. And then I played there. It's like, this feels, this doesn't feel right. It's not the same, you know, Max Payne 3 is not the same. I'm not saying it's like necessarily bad because of it. Um, it's just not, it's, it's not, it was not what I was looking for out of a Max Payne sequel, you know? Yeah, great soundtrack, like really good vibe. Like, like Rockstar kind of did the thing that Rockstar does or did then. Uh, I don't, they do a little less of that now, but you know, they, they rock started up for Max Payne three, but one and two, I think are like straight up just legendary video games. Um, And, you know, this, this feels a lot like that. This, you know, the, the, there hasn't really been a ton of that outside of Max Payne. I don't, I don't know that there's really been, um, a lot of Max Payne likes, Max Payne lights. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Th this feels really great. Uh, it, it's. I really like the structure of it in terms of like, here's these relatively compact levels, right? Of, you know, hey, here's, you know, like get in here, get these sausages, get out. You know, they, they play around with that here and there. Like here's a level with no hostages, whatever, whatever. But, um, but, uh, I, re I really like that aspect of it. It, uh, it almost makes it feel a little arcadey or something, you know? Uh, you know, the kind of control style, big boom, level name, I think, you know, that that's just great. Whatever. Control is... Control is, I feel like that's where, like, all of the Remedy stuff that they had been trying to do through Alan Wake and Quantum Break and just just everything that they had been trying to do 
I feel like Control is the game where all of that finally coalesced into... God damn, man. I, you know... I think Control is one of the fucking best games, period. Like, that, I, I think Control is fucking incredible. Um, like, just, it's so good. Just aesthetically, gameplay-wise, I really like the story, the look of the characters, like, like all of that stuff, I think, is, is so, so, so good. Um, Man, what a good game. Anyway, uh, El Paso Elsewhere is, you know, definitely on the, the Max Payne end of things for sure. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's an homage to that game in so many ways from tone to controls to, you know, pills to, you know, all of the diving stuff and, and everything. I, I, that's, I don't think that's a big shock. I'm not, you know, if you just watched this video, then you <laughs> saw that, um, but it feels really good, and I think you know it's it's telling its own story, and and I I like where it's going with it. I think it's interesting. I think James Savage is a really interesting character. I remember his name, which is more than you can say for a lot of game characters these days. Um, and uh, I yeah, I really like where this is going. I like that it you know is not just here's more motel room stuff that it, that it really goes some other places. I hope with the kind of number of chapters it has, um, that it uh, changes things up at least you know one or two more times, right? Somewhere in El Paso, Texas, a three-story motel gained another 46 stories all below ground. So I think that, you know, there's your implication of to potentially how many levels there are there. But, um, but yeah, El Paso Elsewhere is, is really great. It's, it's on, uh, it's on Xbox. Uh, that was the PC version. It's on Steam. Um, I did not think that we would play three hours of it, but here you go. Uh, I, I'd like to break the toilets with my, uh, with my head. <laughs> I like to punch the mirrors. Like fun destructibility, like good, good weapon variety. Um, feels good to play. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really neat. And, uh, I like the look of it. I, I the, the graphical style that kind of, you know, scaled back aesthetic i think works really well for this in terms of again of, of it feeling like this compact focused thing you know of like here's the next level here's the next level and we're going to tell you a story along the way but this is a level based boom 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 um structure i i think that's really cool rather than it just being like here's you know like it's here's a linear game world and you're Oh, now you've reached the subway and now here's the subway level or whatever. Like, you know, like that, that would probably work, but it would be, it's different. You know, the go in here, do a thing, get back to the elevator. And now here's another level that doesn't have to be directly attached to the level that came before it, I think is, is really neat. It's really neat. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I would check it out. You should check it out. I checked it out. I'll check, I'll check out the rest of it, I believe. We'll see. That's the plan, anyway. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, it's fucking neat. That's El Paso elsewhere. Um, yeah, Alan Wake 2, I, you know, I know that, yeah, a bunch of Alan Wake 2 just hit today, right? A bunch of coverage. Um, that, uh, that event happened pretty close to here, but I was not able to attend. Um, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to that, uh, and, and seeing how that comes together. And that's, you know, that's just, I'm, you know, I, I was not a, a big fan of the first game, but, uh, you know, they're swearing up and down. You don't need to have enjoyed the first game to play this one. I mean, it is a pretty different thing, but you know, what I've seen of that game when I saw it back in June, um, looked fantastic you know and they, they showed some of that obviously at the was it the gamescom thing so so you you all have seen it recently as well i'm sure um be back on friday we'll play some 
8-bit Nintendo games, we will rank them. We will determine once and for all which ones are the best and which ones are the worst with another batch of those games. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and watching. Uh, and I'll be back with you then. Again, we're, you know, sorry, if I seem apprehensive, it's because you know, we're, we're kind of... This baby's going to come real soon. We're going to, you know, this, uh, we're, I, I got my backpack. You can see the, cor this is the, the corner. You can see the corner of my backpack down here. I've got a pack, a change of clothes and a toothbrush. And I don't know, maybe I'll grab my steam deck when the time comes and throw it in there. I don't know. I don't know. We were, uh, when I think back to the last, um, the last time we did this two years ago, There was not a lot of time, you know, we kind of, <laughs> you know, we were there for two, two days, three days, something like that total, but, uh, it did not feel there was a lot of downtime per se. Don't get a flu while your wife is in labor like you did last time. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, they, the kids just went and got flu shots today. I'm going to go get mine tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah. Booster shots and uh, whatever else, uh, and so, yeah, so we'll, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be that. Well, you know, I, I shouldn't say, but you know, the, the due date is not for a little bit here, but it's just that the other two were early also. I would not be shocked if next week was the week, but, uh, we'll see. <laughs> so, uh, unless, uh, unless something goes down, I'll see you on Friday. Take care.